Hello everyone. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing well. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tammy. I want to thank my subscribers for being here and supporting me. I couldn't do this without you and I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's create something. I got this dolphin mold off of Timu a while back. And I purchased it because I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger because I didn't check the dimensions on it like I should have. So I was wondering what, what I could do with it. So I have an idea. I bought this in another kit from Let's Resin. See, it has Let's Resin right there on it. And, um,. It came with another mold and some lights. This goes in the other mold that it came with. But these lights go in this. See it's circular right there. And I didn't check these, so we might check them before we put them in here right quick. If I can get it in there. There we go. Yes, it came on. I don't want to point it directly at you guys and blind y'all, but it's very bright. It's not one that changes colors or anything. It's just uh, really bright uh, white. So we're going to UV resin it right here. Just to tack it in place a little bit. I'm wondering if... If we could put this in there after it came out, but it would be sitting on top like that, that wouldn't be pretty. No, we'll go ahead and put it in there. Okay, so we'll put this in here like that, and then we'll take the dolphin and uh, let him cure, pop him out of the mold, let this cure, pop it out, and then turn this over the, the right way and then we'll take the dolphin and put the dolphin on there like this and make a nightstand, like a, a bedside lamp. That's going to be so cute. Okay, so if you're interested in that, kick back, relax, get your fuzzy socks on, you drink, whatever you need, and enjoy. I'm going to go get some resin, and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to let you know that we're using J-Diction High Gloss Epoxy Resin for this project. Okay, we're going to go ahead and I'm using Let's Resin, UV Resin, and we're going to put a few little dots of it right here to hold this into place for us. Did everybody have a good Christmas? I hope everybody had a really good Christmas. I had a nice Christmas. It was fun. I enjoyed myself. I ate a bit too much. Man, my mother-in-law, she brought this uh, red velvet cheesecake. Oh my goodness. 
I ate so much of that. It was delicious. She got it from Sam's, she said. It was really good. And she got these uh, little, um, these little things. They, they were like a triangle and they had spinach and cream cheese and feta cheese in them. Woo, they were good too. She got them from Sam's too. Okay, let's turn this over and heat it up that way. Make sure it stays in place. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I hope not anyway. Okay, I'm going to unplug this, and I'm going to lay it over here to the side because we're going to work on the dolphin first. I see something in him, so I'm going to go ahead and get some tape. And I'm going to go inside the mold and make sure that it's clean. Okay, so I've got a hundred milliliters of resin right here. I'm gonna sit it over here to the side and let uh, let it rest a minute. And I'm gonna show you what I have planned to do the dolphin in. So we're going to. Be, this is beautiful. I think it is so beautiful. It has these pretty little uh, diamonds. Look like diamonds in it. And then it's got the shells, and uh, it's got some real pretty starfish in here, too. That's a regular starfish, and it's got some blue ones in here, too. Let's see if I got one out. I didn't get one out of there. There it is. See, it's got some pretty blue ones in there, too. So I thought we would... Um, this in there. Go ahead and put some in this cup. We may have to pick through these. This one right here may be too big. Let's see. Yep, that one's going to be too big for it. So let's see. That's going to be too big for it. And that is. You know what? I've got some smaller shells. I've got some right here. We can pick through these too. Yeah, we'll get plenty. Now these right here will be just fine. But these, they're going to be a little bit too chunky for this. So, we'll just have to weed through it and see what works and what don't. And then, I thought we would put some of these pretty holographic rings in there with this. It matches. See how pretty they are? They're holographic. I thought we'd put a few of those about, you know, through it too. Um, and then for the bottom part, I thought we would uh, tint the water just a little bit of blue, which I picked out some alcohol inks for that, which we'll have to see which works better. I have a marabou here that's Caribbean. I have a ranger here that's sailboat blue. And then I have 
uh, this one right here, I'm not sure who this is by. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure who it's. Bray Reese, I don't know. But this one is l Lake Blue, but it's Shimmer Alcohol Ink. So I thought we'd put a little bit in a cup on the side and see how it looks. If we don't like it, then we won't use that. But uh, one of these will tint the water a little bit blue and then put these throughout it. And uh, maybe we'll put some of these in the bottom part too. I'm not sure if we'll use these or not, but we'll see how a few of them look. I thought this uh, eel right here was too cute. Look at that. It's an eel. And then there's a blowfish. I don't really like that starfish, but... And then there's a octopus. A turtle. A fish. A seahorse. And then another fish, a little Nemo. <laughs> Nemo! So, I don't know. We may put some of these in it, and we may not. We'll have to see how they look. And if we don't like them, we'll just dip them right out of there. So, I'm going to set this to the side, and we'll work on the dolphin. And there's an etching inside of this dolphin. I know you see it. I thought we would do something with that when it comes out of the mold. We may color it and we may leave it as is. I'm not sure. But we will do something with the etching when we bring it out of the mold. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, and I have, um, I have a Timu package to share with you guys at the end of this, if we have time. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and spray the mold with some alcohol. That helps uh, with the bubbles to keep them, uh, maybe help out with them not forming. It doesn't stop them, but it helps out with them forming on the edges and in the bottom. I'm going to pour real slow you guys so I'm gonna pause the video and I will be back with you when I pour all the resin in here okay I have the dolphin filled up as much as I want him I left just a teeny bit of, of left so that I could fill the back of him in with a little bit of blue tint of blue so I have extra resin left over and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in this bottom piece right here So I'm going to spray it with alcohol, and I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of it in here. And I'll be right back when I'm finished. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set this over to the side. And then I'm going to get my silicone tool, and I'm going to go through here and make sure there's no bubbles on the edging. I see some down here in the in the little um, etchings. I'm going to just lift them right on out of there and they'll float right to the top and we can take care of them.
Okay, I think I don't really see any more. So they, a lot of them have risen to the top right here. So we're going to go ahead and use the heat gun. So if this hurts your ears, I'm going to run it for a minute. Okay, I'm going to spritz a little bit of alcohol over it. And now we can go ahead and start placing our pieces in. I'm going to get these for that. I know those are going to be too big. We'll go ahead and get them out of here. I'm going to spray these with a little bit of alcohol so maybe they won't try to hold a bubble in them. That's a cute little T90 shell. That's so cute. I hope these right here are gonna be all right in there. They look like they'll make it. Cause I'm gonna put one more layer over the back of this with a little tint of blue. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. I wonder if um, if it would be cute if we added a um because there's like a little flower right here like I guess maybe for the dolphin's eye I'm not sure but I wonder if we put a flower there if it would be cute What do you guys think?
spread some of this stuff around. Welp. Just fell right through there, didn't it? I don't know what that is. That's a bead, like a little silver bead. I wonder how that got in there. Huh. Is there any more in there? No. I don't see any more. Alright, let's try to get some of these shells over here and here. The tiny ones. Okay, so I have to tell you all uh, something that happened at our Christmas that is hilarious. Uh, my daughter is a uh, she's raising the uh, well they are raising her significant others nephew and he is two years old and uh i thought it would be interesting to put him some money in a gift card i mean i got him a gift too but i put him some money in a gift card so he could also go out and pick him out something that he that he really wanted you know well when he opened the gift card and he seen the money <laughs> He said bye, and he turned around and he just walked out of the room. It was so hilarious. Like, I'm leaving y'all. I've got my money. I'm gone. <laughs> it was so cute. I wish we would have gotten it on. Uh, I was taking pictures, and I had my camera set to motion pictures, you know, where it takes a little clipping of the picture. So I got a little bit of it, but um, not his facial expression. It, it was hilarious. He thought he was rich and he didn't need nothing else. He was gone. <laughs> was so cute. Oh, in the minds of these little ones. Okay, what do you guys think about putting a flower right there? Let's see. Like one of these. Let's see if I can find a smaller one. I think this one will work. I gotta move this stuff out of the way though.
I think that's going to be so cute. Okay, so I think we're done with this. I'm going to set this to the side and we're going to grab the other piece. Okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of tint to it. I'm going to use the this one right here because I know it's going to work out. Just what I'm wanting. Just a hint of blue. Not wanting much. I need to, this is stopped up. I've got to. I don't know, that may not be dark enough. And I'm afraid this is going to be too dark. Hmm. Let's see. Yep. This is what we'll do. Yeah, that's perfect. Put one more drop over here. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's add some of these flakes. That may be plenty. Yeah, I think it's going to look good just with these flakes, you guys. I don't think it's going to look good with nothing else in it. We're not going to use the uh, the fish and stuff like that because I think this is going to be just what I'm looking for right here. For the bottom part of the light. Okay. I'm going to set this to the side, and all I'm going to do is add some uh, clear resin in the back of this, and then I'm going to put a little bit of tint of blue in behind the dolphin. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, but we're going to go ahead and open up that Timu package right quick that I got. Hold on a second. Let me clean this up. We forgot to add some of these holographic rings. So I thought we'd do that right quick. I'm not going to put a whole lot in here, just a few. Okay, I think that's plenty. Okay, first of all, I wanted to show you guys. I opened this already because I was super excited to see it. This isn't from Timu. I ordered this from a little shop off of Etsy. It's Ella Ray Molds and Vinyls. 
and it came with this inside the package. And I thought I would share it with you guys. These molds are pricey, let me tell you. And this one isn't even the biggest one that she has. It's an opened book. It has the pages. I don't know if you can see them, but the lines for the pages. And um, I thought I would uh, decorate inside of it and then set it up on a stand. That would be super cute. Okay, so let me get the Etsy package right quick. Okay, here's the Etsy. Well, I probably don't need those scissors. I could just get in through here, I think. I'm sorry about that. I should have cut that fan off a long time ago. I hope it didn't ruin my video. Okay, these are some latex waterproof shoe covers that I bought, bought to put over my shoes when it rains because I live out in the country and it can get muddy out here, you guys. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what that is, you guys. Okay, here's a little ruler that I got. I thought it was so cute. It's a bookmark ruler. Like a, made into it like a giraffe. Something's going on down here. You guys, I think my items are stuck to the tape down here at the bottom. Let's just see what we can get out. Okay, I got this turtle. I thought it was so precious. And it comes with a, a smaller version of it, too. You can see it in there. And then I got these headphones that are really colorful and it comes with a smaller version. These are heat uh, transfers. And then here is some pretty little leaves. It comes with uh, different colors. Aren't those pretty? I got this Bible emergency numbers stressed Matthew 11 25 and 30 worried and it gives you the uh, word to go to in the Bible lonely disappointed bitter sinned discouraged losing hope sick sad in danger scared lacking faith negative broke <laughs> betrayed and hurt toll-free access 24-7. And then I got, um, these are some scuba divers. I'll show you one of them. And they're all swimming different.
I've never gotten a vinyl package this way before. But I gotta tell you, it's nicer than the way they've been coming. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 6. And then I got the smaller version, too. And then this is another one of the Bible emergency numbers, just in a different color. I think, let's see. Yeah, that's the only one that's in there. Then I got this for my, uh, my mother-in-law. My daughters call her Nana. I'm going to make her something with that. And then I got this little mold. It says Mama. It's a little keychain. Boy, that's tiny, isn't it? I don't know if she'll be able to see that or not. And then I got uh, this little... Isn't that cute? <laughs> Now I got these little keychains, they're paws. And now I got these butterflies. And now I got these. And I think this is the one that's sticking to the bag. I got a soccer ball, and I got this little guy. Isn't that cute? And I got the smaller version of it. For those of you who stayed through the entire video, I have no words to express or show how grateful I am to have you. I truly appreciate the support. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for allowing me to be part of it. And I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow, and we will demold our pieces, and we'll go from there. God bless you and bye, my friends.